Music, Back to the Old Gutter Meghan's risky move to return to Hollywood is exposed. Meghan Markle has appeared at a big Hollywood event, and she did one thing we have not seen from her for years. Hello everybody, welcome back to Kate Middleton and the Queen. YouTube channel of all the grueling duties a member of the royal family may be expected to take on right up there with planting trees and cutting ribbons is red carpet walking since George VI decided to go to the premiere of A Matter of Life and Death back in 1946 Kings Queens and HRHs have regularly been showing up at fancy opening nights to fly the flag for Britain and to enjoy some popcorn for free. In the 76 years that have passed since then members of the royal family have been walking. Red carpets to do their bit the emphasis here here of course should be on the walking part that's a detail that has been thrown into relief by former royal Meghan Markle it was a long time ago that they ran away from the UK to enjoy the freedom of Monteo and over the course of this year Meghan Murley has been quietly transforming herself into quite the Hollywood habitus she has gotten herself an A-list agent WZR Emmanuel. We've also been led to believe that she's got some new A-list friends like Cameron Diaz and Kris Jenner, and it seems like Meghan is trying her best to get as many A-list contacts as she possibly can over the weekend. Meghan showed up to do some more elbow rubbing this time at Vanity's Power of Women event, but it was what Meghan did on that red carpet, or the navy carpet, if we were to be more specific, that really signals that Meghan has thrown away every last reminder of her palace identity, and she is full on Hollywood now. She stopped, she started, and then she stopped again. Meghan did what basically everybody does on the red carpet she paused at different points on the red carpet to pose and then she would move a few steps forward to repeat that old step and repeat as it's known in the business but that wasn't all Meghan also stopped to chat with some microphone wielding reporter from entertainment tonight they referred to her on screen as Meghan Markle and Variety asked her about the time she spent on suits. So it looks like me Markle did something for the very first time on the red carpet over the past few years whenever Meghan and Harry have attended these events with the red carpet they've either not stopped and posed at all like their 2021 appearance at the Intrepid Museum's annual salute to Freedom Gala or sometimes they'll do a quick front on pose like at 2022 is Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Ripple of Hope Awards or at this year's Miss Foundation Women Vision Awards. But this weekend's variety POSA on is a completely different situation clearly. Meghan is not interested in being a royal anymore, instead, she wants to be a Hollywood star. Let's contrast what Meghan did with what William and Catherine did at this year's BAFTA Awards in February. Catherine gave her husband William that cheeky little pat on the bottom. William and Catherine walked past all the photographers like they were worried about getting some bad seats if they didn't go fast enough we saw the same thing at last year's Top Gun Maverick premiere without any touchy-feely stuff and also what about when the prince and princess left their kids at home in the care of only a full-time nanny housekeeper and whole retinue of staff to take in the No Time to Die premiere back. In September of 20,121 along with King Charles and Queen Camilla for the Briefest of moments the group of four paused at the top of the steps and then they were off and they were not turning around even at Catherine's own events she typically doesn't speak to the media like at her world leading shaping US National Symposium last week or at the Together at Christmas Carol service that Catherine hosts annually at Westminster ABY the message in all of this is that we're royal and we don't need to have core publicity. But now Meghan and Harry exist in a strange space. Between royalty and celebrity, they're neither really fully one nor the other, but anyway, clearly, Meghan has picked the side of the coin that she wants to be on, and that means she's never going to have to sit through a Commonwealth Day service and a teetering hat again.